Yeah. Yeah. Hey. I've got some research on today's guest for you, Mr. Bittinger. Oh, it's Bill, honey. Bill, everybody's on a first name basis around here. It's uh, Bill and Wendy. Wendy and Bill. Partners. Research assistant and star. <laughs> We're gonna have a terrific time here. You know that, honey? Something you'll always remember. You want to pick me out a nice tie? Oh, yeah, sure, Mr. Bill. Um, you know, hadn't we better go over some of this info on today's guest? The info? Yeah, let's go over the info. I like that info. <laughs> it's so cute. Well, thanks. Um, anyway, her name is uh, Teresa Gallardo. Cute. She's a... Not cute's not the word. Knockout. Knockout. More like it. Well, thanks again. Uh, Teresa Gallardo is 55. She's... I can't, I can't tie her ones or not. Can you, can you help oh, me with this? yeah, sure. Yeah. Anyway, she's going to be talking about this really interesting cookbook she's written. It's yeah. called Favorite Pasta Recipes of the Five Families. Ah. What is that perfume? It's just something I splash on in the shower. The shower? <laughs> how, how tall are you, Wendy? Six feet. Lord. Miss America. <laughs> You're very tiny. There. It's, uh... Perfect. How, how old are you now? 22. 22. Mm. You're a sensational girl, you know that. I mean that. I mean sensational. Yeah. A minute and 45 seconds, Mr. Biddinger. Okay, thanks, Woody. Marinara was... sauce is bubbling in the pan. The smell of Parmesan is in the air. So... Onions sautéing over a low flame. <laughs> Boy, my tummy's rumbling just thinking about it. Woody, I heard you said... Uh, Mr. Thanks. Biddinger, one minute to air. Oh, one minute. Here's Teresa Gallardo's book, anyway. Yeah, okay, thanks. I I'll have makeup get that stubble right after the intro. What stubble? I just shaved. Oh, well, I'll get you some new blades. Who's the guest today? Uh, Teresa Gallardo. Who the hell is Teresa Gallardo? So, the trick is to, uh, just uh, mince up the garlic real fine, huh? It's uh, no trick. It's a real. Well, no, I, I don't mean trick per se. I just mean that, uh, I sense that, that that's the... Secret to a, to a successful sauce. I don't know about that. Uh, that's just the way you do it. You got the no garlic, you got the no sauce. No, but I notice you're mincing it up very, very fine. Oh, you got to mince it up real yeah. fine. Otherwise, you got the no sauce. How long does it usually take you to totally mince up 30 cloves of garlic? It takes as long as it takes. Five. Well, heck, we're certainly having a, a good time here with Teresa Gallardo, and, and we'll be right back after these words from some very nice people. And we're clear. Good spot, Mr. Bittinger. Don't you love the smell of garlic? Get Jojo down right away. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Miss White, star watch on the floor. Next, you take about 60 tomatoes. Uh, we're not on camera, Mrs. Gallardo. Save it. Oh, we've got to do it now, otherwise you got to know soaps. <laughs> Who is that woman? She's making me look like a jerk. Oh, it'll go better once you start eating the spaghetti. I'm, so Joe, I'm serious. I'm dying up there. Looks okay from where I'm sitting. Oh, sure. From where you're sitting up behind the scenes, your career's not on the line up there. It's an hour show. They don't all win Emmys, and your career is not on honey, the line. Honey, honey, trust me. My fans will not stand for this. It's boring. Now, look. Next segment, you come in, you talk about the book. Then you go back in the kitchen, you yank the spaghetti off the stove, you dump in the sauce, you ladle it out for the audience, yum, 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 fade to black, audience goes home, and tomorrow's another day. Now, what's the problem? The problem is I'm very disappointed in you. I expected a lot more support from my director. Excuse me, 30 seconds, Mr. Bittinger. Better hightail it back to the booth this way. Yeah. Jojo, I'm not wearing a stupid hat. Your hair is smished. <laughs> Jojo, I won't forget this. Uh, I mean that. Get Look. Mr. Bittinger's stubble. Yeah, hey, hey, man, now, now don't you be pushing me. On, I don't need any more makeup. The man told me to be covering your beard. The man be wrong. How then jump that? on the man, Jim. Don't be yeah. jumping on me. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Ain't my idea to powder your face. I know. Why would you like it if somebody told you to touch me up and wouldn't I started like smacking you around? Like Damn straight you wouldn't like it. Bill, in five, four, three, two. And we're back. You don't expect me to like it. Uh, Teresa, what, what a thrill having you here today with us. The last guy that tried it got cut pretty good. <laughs> well, you should have told them to check the antifreeze. Uh, I know they should, Catherine, but they don't unless you tell them. 
Okay, I'll, I'll call the auto club. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll pick up the kids. Uh, just tell them to be outside in the parking lot uh, with their books, Catherine, okay? <laughs> Listen, honey, I gotta, I gotta hang up here or, or, or someone's gonna come in and I'll, I'll be stuck here. <laughs> you see the show, Carl? Uh, you see the show? Uh, Sitting up here in your ivory tower, did you see that abomination? Yeah, I... What do you think people of Buffalo are sitting on the edges of their seats just waiting to see how the spaghetti came out? Sweetheart, oh, please, we're, you? we're gonna get a major, major tune-up, okay? Okay, I, I, I'll see you soon. All right, but the, uh, McDonald's will be fine. Uh, Arby's, swell. Okay, bye-bye. What is this? What is this? Well, <clears throat> Catherine's Toyota's on the fridge. No, again. no, Carl, I'm talking about the show. Will you please forget about your petty problems and give me five minutes of your time? Five minutes? Bill, you got it. Uh, could you come to the automobile club? Uh, what seems to be the problem, Bill? The guests! The guests! Uh, what about the guests? They stink! You've got to give me some decent guests. Okay, uh, let me just jot that down. Uh, decent guests for Bill. <laughs> you got it. Eh? Uh, is there anything else? The makeup guy. Uh, Nudell? He's a character, isn't he? Get rid of him. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think we can do that. Why not? Uh, yeah? Oh, thanks. Uh, hi, I, I've got a dead Toyota in my driveway. Man, it's disruptive. He's violent, I think. I think he's violent. This is a sample of his work. Okay, here goes. Uh, Shub, Carl Shub, S-H-U-B, uh, number 845-CX. I want him fired. I want him out. Uh, all right, it's a yellow 73 Celica. It's in the driveway. It's uh, 4147 McAdoo Terrace. Uh, all right, uh, all right. Bye-bye. Now, you you want me to fire New Dell? Carl, he is just the tip of the iceberg. Bill, could we... Can we talk about this, say, tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Mr. Nine to Five. Is no, that it? No, not at all, Bill. Not at all. My kids are standing outside in the cold. Oh, sure. Bill. Okay, sure. I understand. Do okay, you, I do. Did, you, I did. Bill, I'd be very grateful if Fine. you did. Sure. And I would be very grateful if you got me some decent guests, okay? Instead of some immigrant with a crockpot. You've got to get me an axe murderer, a rapist, Freddie Silverman, or somebody like that. You owe it to the people of Buffalo. Could we walk out together? No, we don't walk out together. You walk out. You walk out and stuff your kids with hamburger. I'm going to stay here and try to salvage the show. All right, Bill, how would you like a co-host? What do you mean, a co-host? Well, I was hoping I could tell you this tomorrow, but... <laughs> Mr. Wilkinson called from the Caribbean. Uh, he said he happened to run into this real talented gal. Gal. Girl. Mm. Girl announcer, sidekick, I don't like it. Oh, uh, she's like a it. model. She's, she's beautiful, but no. she's smart, she's like funny. I think the whole thing stinks. I don't well, like any uh, part Mr. of it. Mr. Wilkinson said that he thought the idea of a female co-host give the whole, a whole show a, a real shot in the arm. Oh, yeah. please, if there's anybody in the world who understands the sensitivity of women, it's me, man. You're looking at the man right here. I don't want some stupid broad sitting up there with me shooting her mouth off. Well, uh, Mr. Wilkinson says that this gal's oh, one of those rare... Oh, excuse me. Excuse finds. me. Mr. Wilkinson, Mr. Wilkinson, Miss... Why don't you just come right out and say it? It's all clear to me now. When does she start, Carl? Starts Tuesday. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Say hi to the kids. Hi, Mr. Bittinger. Oh, Miss Killian. He's not here, Woody. I was just waiting for him. Oh. Well, I, I just stopped by to say goodnight. To... I stop by every night to say goodnight. It's just my way of saying goodnight. Uh, goodnight. Oh, need any extra spaghetti? Uh, no, no, thanks. Me and the missus can only eat so much. As it is, we'll have to feed most of it to the goats. No, thanks, Woody. Okay. This is Mr. Bittinger's share. Oh, well, I don't think he'll want any either. He, he's taking me out to dinner. He freezes it. Oh. Have a nice dinner. Man. Mr. Bittinger Street? Well, I think so. Mm. Well, uh, good luck. Oh, excuse me. Woody, did you hear about the format change for next Tuesday? Uh, yes, Miss White, I did. Does Bill know about it? Uh, yes, Miss White, he does. Why, what a slap in the face. Uh, Mr. Bittinger referred to it as a day of infamy. What's going on? Well, from what I can gather, starting next Tuesday, the Buffalo Bill Show will henceforth be called Buffalo Beat with Bill Bittinger and Tamara Brooks, signed Carl Shubb, General Manager. 
In case anybody needs me, I'll be unavailable all weekend. Good. It's my fault, isn't it? Why would you say that? Well, uh, what if I've been doing faulty research and causing the show to go downhill? You haven't, have you? No. Okay, then it's not your fault. See, Wilkinson does this occasionally just to needle Bill. He hates Bill. I think Bill is a wonderful man. Yes, he's fascinating. He's very attractive, too, isn't he? He has his good days and bad days. He's a lot older than I am, isn't he? A lot, lot older. He's so generous. Gracious. This is Bill Biddinger we're talking about. Yes. Because there are other Bills at the station. No, no, it's Bill Biddinger. You know him pretty well, don't you? Well, I, I've worked with him for about two and a half years, and I have spent a certain amount of time with him. Actually, I don't know him at all. They are the Eggman. Mm -hmm. I am the Walrus. Uh, so, <clears throat> what do you think of the uh, banner? Carl, how could you let this happen? It's not me. I'm an employee. It's Wilkinson, whose name is on all of our paychecks. Isn't the soup delicious? <laughs> oh, that's just childish. Absolutely, Carl. Stop whining like a baby. <laughs> Mr. Oh. Shub, Mr. Biddinger, Miss White, here. this is Miss Pamela Brooks. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you? It's a pleasure to Good meet to all you. I'll, I'll get some paper towels. The pleasure's all. Uh, please excuse our appearance here. <laughs> the boys are just having their Monday afternoon food fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little sloppy. Please, please, sit down. <laughs> thank you. I'd really like to thank you for this. This is so nice. Oh, uh, well, won't you have a seat? I, I think I'll just stand. What's the matter? You don't like sitting in soup? <laughs> <laughs> so, you're Bill Biddinger. No, I'm guilty. You must hate me. Excuse me? Oh, I mean, who am I? I'm just this actress slash model. <laughs> Boy, I mean, I would hate me if I were you. No, not at all. I just don't be me. me. Wait, how, how, how could I hate you when I don't even know you? Well, let's hope we can remedy that. No, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to getting to know you, really. You're so sweet. Gee, is there some place that I can freshen up? You know, those Learjets don't have every amenity. Oh, what do you, what do you show you, your dressing room? You, you can relax in there. Oh, a dressing room? <laughs> this is Buffalo, dear. We don't spare anything. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Well, I'll, I'll see you all later. Nice meeting you. Please, don't hate me. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about that, really. Everything's going to be fine. Please, okay? I hope so. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <clears throat> well, I, I found her delightful. <laughs> I think she can only enhance the show, and I, for one, am, am proud as a peacock to have her aboard. Excuse me. <laughs> There's another shoe yet to drop here, isn't there? <laughs> you mean to tell me that little tart never did any hardcore pornography? Or worked the Caribbean as a pro or semi-pro? You make something up, Bill. You wouldn't want that. But it's out of my hands. What I want is not important. What we're dealing with here is, is a deadly virus. A virus that has got to be excised before it spreads and infects everything around it. Yikes. Yikes? I mean, what do you think this is, Popeye? This is life or death. Now, you've got to get cracking. If, if I go on the air and accuse this woman of, of clubbing baby seals, you've got to be able to prove that I'm right. Okay, I'll try to reach Mr. Wilkinson again. Yeah, I'll do that. Tell him he's committing artistic suicide. <laughs> Understand you've been bad mouthing me. What the? Uh, you want to start that up again, do you? Well, now take it easy. I guess I was out of line. Was that an, an apology? Hell no. <laughs> no. I'm just saying, 
We're all subject to, uh, to moods, emotional highs and lows. And uh, I, for one, well, I'm going to try to avoid those ugly confrontations, which would only be regretted later. <laughs> but if I hear you talking behind my back, I'm going to slit you open like a bluefish. <laughs> Three minutes there, Mr. Bittinger. Yeah, thanks, Woody. You know, I'm sorry I couldn't sneak that powder into her coffee, but I think that's a felony in most states. <laughs> powder and coffee? I was just thinking out loud. <laughs> Lord. Oh, Lord. Lord. You know, I... I never asked anything of you before. Well, no, almost never. Certainly, nothing as important as this. I, uh, I never got those other things, except for what's-her-face, which I probably would have been better off without. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't know whether the concept you owe me one makes any sense to you sitting out there where you are, but I hope it does. And I hope that you can picture how, how you'd feel if... If you had to share that, that heavenly spotlight with some bimbo from the hinterlands with no, no talk show experience, no, no credits, nothing really but a pretty face that she uses to just push her way in and shove old pros like me, and, and then you just shove us right over to the sidelines. Yeah, I know. It's never happened to you before. I never will. It's happening to me. It's happening to me right now. And if you continue to let it happen to me, I've got to tell you something. It's going to cost you a little bit of credibility with me. As in, is there really a God type questions? And don't forget, I've, I've got a fairly influential little show here. In terms of molding public opinion in and around the Erie County area. So, if you feel like making a, a few points with old Buffalo Bill, better just come up with something. Fast. I, I know you can do it. Yeah, okay, Woody. By the way, uh, I'm begging you. Stand by, video. Cue main title. Are we ready for this? Uh, I guess we'll see in about 52 seconds. We're on the brink of a whole new era. My heart is beating a mile a minute. Oh, I'll take it easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. How's your trousseau running? Great, just great. You, you got a good mechanic? Paul, could we talk about this after the show? You're busy. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think I'm going to pass out. Got to keep the aisle clear, Carl. Let me see the first shot. Great, thanks, Denny. Audio, cue theme. Okay, guys, have a nice flight. And in five, four, three, two... Bittinger, thank you so much for coming out on a cold day like this. Welcome to the Buffalo Beat Show. I, uh, I've got a heck of a surprise for you today. I'd like to introduce an intelligent, beautiful, young co-host who's going to be sharing the honors with me today. Well, not only today, but hopefully from now on. I, well, I could go on and on about this young lady, but why don't you just join me now in giving her a warm Buffalo greeting, okay? It's Miss Tamara Brooks. Tamara? Is she beautiful? Well, let's hear it. <laughs> Welcome to the show, honey. Thank you, Bill. Oh, yeah. oh Bill. <laughs> honey, just relax and just talk to the audience. Maybe just tell them a little bit about yourself. I, I, I. <laughs> What's she doing? Hacking and, and gagging, it looks like. Camera yeah. two, give me a close-up on Bill. Get up, okay? please. Uh... <laughs> This is not good. Today, we're going to be talking to Buffalo Sabre coach Scotty Bowman about violence on the ice. But first, uh, Tamara and I would like to demonstrate the Heimlich maneuver. I know a lot of you have probably heard about it, but very few of you have seen it demonstrated, I'm sure. We're going to be doing more CPR later on in the show, but that was just by way of showing you how I or you could save a life in the streets. Now, Tamara and I will be right back in just a few moments. And isn't she terrific? Huh? Okay, folks, well, just stay in the seat, just stay in the seat. We'll be right back. Hey, Eddie, would you get a glass of water, please? The show's starting just a little soon. Don't be here. I think you saved my life. I think I did, yeah. 
I don't think I can go on with this. No, no, don't, don't worry about a thing. I'll just fake it in the next segment and later on. No, 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 Bill. No, I, I can't do this. I'm, I'm just not good enough. I... You're not good enough? Oh, honey, I, I don't even know what to say to that. that... Look, just, just sit here, okay? Everything's going to be all right. Just, just take it easy, all right? Get her off the stage. She's pathetic. I've got a show to do. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is that courage, folks? I call it courage. Beautiful and brave. Let's hear it. I owe you one. Is everything okay down there? Jojo, yeah. Everything's fine. Bill, we'll come back to you alone. Okay, baby, you're the boss. Say, looking for another co-host. My sister's available. Oh, I'll, I'll take that under advisement, Nadell. I may owe you two. Two shot on camera three there. And then goes camera one. Hi, guys. Down there. Oh, hi, Bill. Okay. Working camera. late, huh? Yeah, we're revamping the show for tomorrow. Yeah, going back to the old format. Yeah, well, if it's got to be, it's got to be, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm a pro. If I have to do it alone, I just do it alone. That's my job. And you do it so well, Bill. Listen, um, could you excuse us a minute, Tony? Uh, Bill, we're really very busy. Coffee. <laughs> excuse me. Coffee. What are you doing? I just wanted to thank you for the support, baby. Don't think I didn't know you were in my corner. I just came up here to say, uh, it's steak time. Tonight. In my heart saying thank you with a steak. I want to do that, Jojo. I won't take no for an answer. Not tonight, Bill. I'm really busy. That sounds like a no. That is a no. I said I wouldn't take a no. Well, Bill, will you take this? I don't want a dinner with you that consists of you inhaling your food in eight minutes flat and then taking the rest of the time to persuade me to spend the night with no, you. Whoa, 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 wait a minute, baby. This is Bill you're talking to. I just asked you out to dinner, that's all. Now, what happens after that is something you have a very big say in. Okay, fine. Dinner. But I promise you that after dinner, I'm going to go home alone. Fine. Terrific. Good. Okay. After dinner, we discuss it again, and you still feel that way? I, I have no gripes, all right? I'm going to discuss it with you after dinner. I'm telling you right now that dinner is terrific, but absolutely nothing afterwards. Right. Okay. Terrific. All right. Jeez. Tonight? Did I say tonight? <laughs> Maybe I can switch it. <laughs> Wouldn't be fair. We're gonna have to rain check it, okay? Ciao, baby. Now yourself, Bill.